we are going to create list of orders in the Amazon. Uh, if you click on your profile, you will see a section right here that shows a list of your orders and it shows the status of paid, delivered and total price. Also, there is a details button that if you click on it, you will be redirected to the details of your post, your order. And if it's unpaid, you can pay that with PayPal. Let's implement order history to do that start from backend and create api to return all orders by current user open your vs code and go to backend folder routers order router at the very top of this define a router to send all orders by current user order router get the route is gonna be a slash mine and only authenticated user can have access to this and inside express async handler we are going to define the handler for this api the command here is very simple const orders await order dot find and what's the condition here only order of current user user equal to rec dot user dot underline id we are using await so this function should be async after getting user it's time to return that res dot send orders that's it we just implemented the router to send back orders of current user Let's go back to plan. It's time to create a function in API.js in a front end to get access to the backend API. Open API at the very end and right after get order, define get my orders. Export const get my orders equal to async. Inside this function, first of all, I need to get the token because I'm going to send an authorized request get token from get user info from local storage and const response equal to await axios and here it's time to pass parameter the first one is the url and it should be api token and it should be api url slash api slash orders slash mine it's exactly like we have in the order router.js set headers and set content type to application slash json and we need to set authorization to barrier token let's wrap it inside try catch move this code inside try catch and create catch part for error and if there is an error, send back that error. I'm going to use the line of code right here to send back the error. In the try part, it's time to check response. If response.status doesn't equal to OK through an error and set the error to response.data.message. Otherwise, response a list of orders by returning response dot data good we created the api for get my orders and it's time to show orders in the profile screen open profile screen and i am going to divide this screen in two section the left section is for updating user profile and the right one is for showing order sorry at this point let's define a dev set class to profile create an inner dev set class to profile info it should be dev and create another dev next to that and it should be profile orders profile orders and here i'm going to show all orders let's close the parent dev 
and cut form container from here and paste it right into profile info in the profile order section we are going to have a table create a table set t head section for columns of an order the first one is order id i'm going to duplicate that for order date total price paid belly word the last one should be actions close the tr table row and close the t head and create table body i'm going to close table body and also close the table itself inside table body we need to check order dot length dollar sign if order dot length equal to zero what i need to do is to show no order found tr inside backtick it should be inside backtick td set call span to six to cover all columns and say no order found otherwise put a column for otherwise if there is an order in the list we are going to use order dot map to convert order object to html object for each order inside orders it should be orders for each order inside orders convert that put back tick and here it's time to create table row table cell the first column is for order id dollar sign order dot underline id and close the td duplicate that and close the tr let's update the values here second field is for date created at third one is total price the next one is paid at and the other one is delivered at and the last one is action for action i'm going to show a link let's create a link here set href to slash sharp slash order slash dollar sign order dot underline id and set the caption of this link to the tails close the anchor good it's time to load orders at the very top in the render function after getting this information it's time to define const orders equal to await and i'm going to use the order that i just defined in api get my order press tab to import that and convert the render function to async at this point i'm getting the order in the render method and then show them in the screen let's check the result click on your name to show the profile and as you see it's the order id date total paid and delivered is undefined and action for undefined i'm going to use this style if paid at is undefined use no if delivered as undefined set it no uh -huh. paid no delivered no let's add some style to this table first of all let's get rid of commas what i'm going to do is to add dot join slash n here to get rid of commas and it's time to move user profile to left and keep the order history to right and also right before them h2 order history aha uh -huh. there is a title for them let's go for splitting the screen open style.css and at the very end of the screen create a comment for profile 
and set dot profile class to flex display flex set flex wrap to wrap we're gonna make it responsive and set align items to flex start we're gonna to keep item in term of vertically at the top it's time to add a style to profile info and orders we have two columns here profile dash info occupy one one thirty rem and profile dash orders occupy three one sixty rem and uh, it should be 20 rem because when uh, it's one is 20 three should be triple 20 which is gonna be 30 set justify content to space between uh-huh as you see the user profile border stick to the edge of the screen let's fix that in the profile screen at the very top of return set class content and profile content create padding around it uh-huh and also let's create a space between user profile and order story go to style and set margin left one rem that's okay we have order story here and it's time to add a style to the table at the very end set table width to a hundred percent table header set text align to left t body table row only for odd child odd trs table rows set background color to gray and for td create a very slight background padding half a rem let's check the result if you click on details you will be redirected to the details of that order let's click back and there we are we just created order history very similar to the final one let's review what we did in this lesson first of all we defined a route for showing list of current user order in the order router and then we use that in get my orders function in the api in the front end side and in the profile screen we just read get my orders function data and in the profile screen we get the data and put them in the orders variable and uh, create uh, two columns and in the main column we show order history of this user that's it for this lesson for next lesson we are going to focus on the admin section of e-commerce website including admin products and admin orders until that lesson bye bye